Do you have any favorite comics, Jim? I think today would probably say Bill Burr. How about you? Oh, Louis C.K. But what's the deal with stand-up comedy anyway? Does it really have to be done standing up? What's that all about? Is that your uh, Seinfeld impression? <laughs> it's the best I've got, Jim. No, I'm being serious, though. Wade Lever, the subject of the next story, is making a name for himself on Edmonton's local comedy circuit as he serves up spikes about living with cerebral palsy and using a power wheel wheelchair. The self-proclaimed vertically challenged comedian. I've read about him in his brand of stand-up, and if I'm not mistaken, his mission is to try and help members of his audience become more comfortable with acknowledging and talking about disability and disability issues. Well, our Wade... That's AMI's Wade Brown. ...caught up with this Wade. Uh, vertically challenged comedian Wade Lever. ...at one of his shows and asked about that and how he got started in comedy. Disabled people will never find common ground. We, we've got more chance of that happening. Uh, then the Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Oilers getting along. Started as kind of a bucket list thing. Everybody always told me, you know, you're, you're pretty funny. So uh, I called around and I managed to find a open mic night. They allowed me to do five minutes of uh, my routine talking about having a disability. What was to my amazement was it was hard to get people to uh, to laugh. I got a whole lot of uh, blank stares and, you know, is it okay to laugh at that? So that has uh, kind of turned itself in for me into not, no, not so much anymore a bucket list type of thing, but almost a necessity to continue to use this as a platform to hopefully help educate the, uh, the able-bodied community. Wade expresses how he wants to push the boundaries with his disability and comedy, opening the doors to discussions about stereotypes and stigmas. Tell everybody tonight, you did a cripple at the Rendezvous Pub. I do build myself as probably the most politically incorrect disabled comedian on the planet. A lot of what I say, in some cases, uh, may shock and offend people, but I think it opens up the door for a discussion because if somebody is offended, then I can say to them, well, why are you offended? What is it specifically that I said that offended you? And then we can discuss it and hopefully solve a problem. Lars Calio, fellow comedian and friend, has supported Wade from the beginning. I, I started an open mic that, that a lot of young comedians went to for the first time. It was a show up, go up style open mic so it was easier for them to get scheduled they know they could just come down any Sunday and sign up at 8 30 and get five minutes of stage time so everybody got an opportunity and and Wade definitely showed you know a lot of promise early on he has incredibly supportive family and friends that showed up every week so he was a draw he's a legitimate draw and then uh, and then he did well when you saw Wade roll in no pun intended it was a real it was something that I look forward to how many people out in the audience tonight have done a cripple? Wade tells us about the message he's trying to convey to his audiences. Well, I just hope that everybody uh, will come out if they're even remotely curious. Not all disability is, is, is cookie cutter. Not everybody's the same. We all face different challenges. If you have a concern or you have a question, don't be afraid to ask. You may be surprised at the answer you get. The answer you get may offend you, but again, it's an answer. It's, uh, and, if it's, and if you legitimately have a question, then it's worthy of the conversation. You see? Exactly who I said he was. I never doubted you, Jim. I'd never doubt you. Isn't it amazing how a little laughter can help people to open up and become comfortable with issues they weren't before? And all without the hangover. You're not laughing, Jim. You're not funny. I'm a little funny. Come on, let me take another crack at this. Hey, Jim, what is the most important part about telling a joke? I don't know, Anthony. What is the most important part about telling a Timing. joke? Timing. <laughs> don't quit your day job, man. If you at home want to learn more about Wade Lever, you can check him out live at the Rendezvous Pub in Edmonton or search for the Vertically Challenged Comedian online.